So the first property of exponents we're going to explore is called the product of powers property. And it works like this. Let's say we had 2 squared. And we're going to multiply that by 2 cubed. What does that exactly mean? Well, let's write this out in what's called expanded form. So rather than just writing 2 squared, we're going to write it out. What, that, what does that mean? That means 2 times 2. And then we're going to multiply that by 2 cubed, which is just 2 times 2 times 2. And as we can see, this is just 2 multiplied by itself a whole bunch of times. All right, the first uh, two twos, that's your 2 squared. Over here, that's your 2 cubed. And then together, all together, we've got 2 times 2 times 2, 2 multiplied by itself 5 times. 2 to the fifth power. So let's see what happens. We just use a variable. Let's say x to the cubed times x to the fourth power. Right, we'll write it out in expanded form. That's going to be x times x times x. There's our x cubed. And we're going to multiply that by x to the fourth power, x times x times x times x. There's our x to the fourth power. And what's another way of writing this? x times itself three times, and then x times itself four times for a total of x multiplied by itself seven times. So what relationship can we see emerging here? Um, if you have two terms with like bases, in the first example, the like bases were two, then what you can do is you can just add the exponent. So two to the two squared times two cubed is going to be two to the two plus three or two to the fifth power. If you have x cubed times x to the fourth, that's going to be x to the three plus four, which is x to the seventh power. So we can generalize this by coming up with the following rule. Let's use a general variable a to the n times a to the m. And we can say that that's going to be a to the n plus m. Let me write that a little better. a to the n plus m. So you just add the exponents if all of your terms have like bases. And that is our product of powers property. All right, so let's go through some examples. Uh, let's rem first remind ourselves uh, of the rule. Uh, a to the n times a to the m equals a to the n plus m. So that's our product of powers property. And how would we apply that in this first problem? Here we've got x cubed times x to the fifth times x to the fourth. So it's clear that when you have like bases, all you have to do is add the exponents because you're just multiplying that number, whatever that number is, a, um, n times plus m times, and in this case we have a third, um, a third term. So what would we do here? We know that this is x multiplied by itself three times, uh, times x multiplied by itself five times, times x multiplied by itself four times for a total of x multiplied by itself 12 times. So that's the answer to number one. I'd like you to try and apply the rule uh, to simplify expressions no, uh, two and expression three. So pause the video, try to get an answer on your own, and I'll show you how to do it once you're done. All right, so I'm going to assume that you have two answers here, and I'll show you how to think about this. Now I'm going to do it uh, a long way. I'm going to do it step by step, but uh, once you get the hang of it, you're not going to have to write all of this out. So I know that y to the fifth times two times y to the ninth, that's just one big multiplication problem. And in fact, that's really the only way we can apply this rule is if we're multiplying. So I'm going to write y to the fifth times two times y to the ninth. Now, since I know multiplication is commutative, which means order doesn't matter, I can just reorder my terms. 
So it's 2 times y to the 5th times y to the 9th. And now I can see I can apply my rule to these uh, uh, terms with like bases. y to the 5th times y to the 9th is y to the 5 plus 9. Uh, which is y to the 14th. So it's just 2 times y to the 14th. And it's that simple. Now let's take a look at number 3. Uh, we have to simplify x squared y to the 5th times x to the 4th y to the 9th. And so this is one big multiplication problem. Since I know multiplication is commutative, uh, I'm just going to rewrite my expression x squared. I'm going to match that up with the x to the 4th times y to the 5th times y to the 9th. And at this point, it should be simple. Uh, here are like bases. x squared and x to the 4th is x to the 2 plus 4, which is x to the 6th. And then y to the 5th times y to the 9th is y to the 5 plus 9, which is y to the 14th. And that's it. Now, you don't have to write all this out. If you know that this is one big multiplication problem, you could probably shift these terms in your head and just start combining um, the exponents with the like basis. So you could see x squared and x to the fourth here is just x to the sixth, and then y to the fifth times y to the ninth is y to the fourteenth. There's no reason to write all this out if you understood what I just did. Let's try three more examples. Again, pause the video and try coming up with solutions on your own. Okay, so I've assumed that you have three solutions. Uh, so let's start simplifying. Here, one big, this is just one big multiplication problem. So I'm gonna do it the long way. Just gonna reorder my terms so my like terms are together or next to each other. Two times three times a times a cubed. And I know that 2 times 3 is just 6, and a times a cubed is a to the 4th. And I know that because whenever I just have a single variable, there's always a, uh, an unspoken or hidden exponent there. There's always a 1. Uh, every term has uh, a 1 as an exponent. So this is actually 2 to the 1, and that's 3 to the 1, and this is a to the 1. Um, so a to the 1 times a, to the, uh, a cubed is a to the 1 plus 3, which is a to the 4th. So that's how I got a to the fourth. Uh, let's take uh, this second example here. Um, don't really need to reorder my terms here at this point. I think uh, you should get the idea. So this is going to be, I'm going to put my coefficient first. I have two. And this is going to be two times a. There's just an a there. And then this is two times a times b squared times b cubed. Now, these two variables, um, or these two terms, have like bases, so that's b to the 2 times b to the 3 is b to the 2 plus 3, which is b to the 5th. And there we go. And then finally, this last one uh, was a bit of a challenge, since uh, you had to recognize that this is an addition sign. So we cannot do anything to these two terms, 2ab cubed and 5a to the 4th b squared. So this only this rule only applies when you are multiplying um, terms with like bases, and you are not multiplying these terms, you're adding them. So there's nothing to do inside these parentheses, but there is something to do out here. You have an outside term, um, and inside the parentheses you have two terms, and you should know that what do you do with that outside term? Well, you distribute it. You multiply it to the first term, and you multiply it to the second term. So what we have here are two little multiplication problems. So I'm going to write out each multiplication problem so you can see exactly what happens here. a times 2ab cubed. Let's write that out. a times 2ab cubed. That's our first multiplication problem. And then we're adding that to a times 5a to the fourth b squared. And let's see what happens when we simplify this. So a times 2ab cubed, uh, we combine our a's, a to the 1 times a to the 1 is a to the 2, or a squared, so that's going to be 2a squared b cubed. And then we're going to add that to uh, a times 5a to the 4th b squared, and that's just going to be 5a to the 5th b squared. And that's it.